Well, it's afternoon now. The babies are in the back crying, but I was like, what's a better way to start this video so y'all can see real life how it is having twins. Well, today is gonna be a 24 hours with twin babies, so y'all can see really how it is realistically because it get real crazy. Right now, he's crying because he just cried. She, unfortunately, um, is constipated, so like I was saying, I was um, we're going to the store because Kehlani is constipated and I'm just taking off their clothes so I can go ahead and get them changed. And I went ahead and changed their pampers already and everything like that. So I'm just changing her first. Generally, when I get them ready, I just do one at a time, which, you know, that's all you can do is one at a time. And usually one of them is crying while I'm getting the other ready, but... One thing I had to learn was that I can't go to them every single time they cry. They cry like I would drive myself crazy. So as long as nothing is wrong with them, I just let them cry while I'm doing what I need to do. The outfit I put on her, you guys, I end up changing because I was like, it is just too many colors going on. I just didn't like it. <laughs> so now I'm sitting here trying to put her, well, get her to calm down while I change him. But as you can see, she is still crying <laughs> and usually she is the calmer of the two but she just she was constipated and irritated so i understand And now I finish changing them and putting their clothes on. They're still crying. So I'm going to go ahead and swaddle Khalil because he calms down as soon as you swaddle him. Unless there's something like really wrong with him, like his pamper need to be changed or he's hungry. That's the only time he'll keep crying. But if it's nothing wrong, he's going to stop crying once you swaddle him. And I kind of put the blanket over the pacifier. So if he tries to spit it out, he can't. So as you see, he went to sleep. She was still crying. So now I'm trying to feed her. But she didn't want the bottle, so I just lay back using the pampers as a pillow and put her to sleep. I was trying to get them to calm down so I can get ready and take a shower and put my clothes on. So she finally went to sleep, so I went ahead and laid her down. And as you can see, she opened her eyes. That's why I hate moving them after they go to sleep, but mama got to get ready, okay? <laughs> So I'm finally got ready. So now it's time to pat their bag. So first I put in wipes. Then I put in about seven pampers to make sure that both of them are good while we're out. I put in gripe water, a change of onesie for her. The pamper changing mat. And as you can see, they woke up. <laughs> a change of shirt for him burp cloths pants for her and i already had shorts in there for him and now i put in some pacifier wipes in my wallet and now i'm just wiping their face down because they were crying and everything like that so i want to make sure their face is nice and clean from any milk spit cry tears anything um, and I'm just going to moisturize their face with the Aveeno eczema therapy, which I recently picked that up because the doctor said that they have very dry skin, which I suffer from eczema. So I was like, let me give this a try. And I really like it. I, I might use it for myself if I could find like th this is baby for babies. So if I go and see that they have just like the regular kind for adults, I'll do that. So generally for their bottles, I just put in hot water and then I pack the milk and cereal inside the actual diaper bag. And I had to learn quickly how to get them down the stairs at the same time because going down with one, then going back up to get the other, then come back down was too much. <laughs> and I know somebody is out there wondering why I give 
Um, well, why I am giving them cereal, the doctor actually said for me to give them cereal because they were drinking too many ounces and it was not lasting them the whole four hours. So I started giving them cereal, which helped out a lot for them to actually go the four hours because they were drinking a lot and then only lasting like two to three hours. All right, y'all. So I made it in the car. Finally. Sweating because it's hot, but um, I'm about. I have a couple of stops that I have to make today. Um, one of them being, firstly, I need to definitely go to Walmart and get some medicine called Bliss Mamas, and it's a medicine that they specifically have for constipation. I actually already use their right water. But usually the right water makes them go to the bathroom, but for some reason it's not making her go. Like she's going, but she is really, really, really struggling. So I need to go to Walmart. I want to go to Ikea to look to see if they have any dressers. Because um, I really need to get some storage space. And I'm going to go see my grandmother. I'm, well, I'm going to take them to go see my grandmother and you know, I'm going to see her too while I'm there. But first I have to stop and get gas because I'm on E. I hate coming to this gas station, it is so ghetto. Okay, so right here, I did not speed this part up because I wanted you all to see exactly how long it takes for me to put their stroller together and put them in the stroller and everything like that. So I have the Hello Mockingbird stroller and with that stroller, I picked that one because I felt like that it was the only one that was a good price range and like had good reviews for twins. Um with this one though if you're attaching them with their car seats you have to have car seat attachments so i put the stroller up i put the attachments on and now i'm just putting them actually inside the attachments and making sure that they're secure which making sure that they clicked in and i don't have a method as far as like who goes on top or who goes on the bottom but khalil was really whiny so I just decided to put him on top so that I can continue to keep um, tending to him, like putting his pacifier in his mouth or just soothing him if he starts to cry. But I finally was able to get both of them in there and now it's time to go. We finally made it to the section. Please don't start crying, Khalil. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh this time. Oh, they got some cute little bows. Hold on, let me get what I can in here for this. Okay, there it go right here, y'all. Mommy Blue's constipation. I hope they don't think I'm stealing. That's what I gotta get from somewhere. <laughs> Okay, y'all. I got what I needed. You was good. For you to be the one hurting, you was good. He was crying. 
All right, let's get them in the car. Woo, child. It's hot out here. I'm in the car now. You know what? It, it, I really get them in the car quick, for real, for real. I think I mastered it at this point. <laughs> but um, I'm about to go see my mother, where she lives literally right around the corner from Walmart. So I'm about to go. Up. I told y'all that I was going to take them to go see my grandma, which is their great grandma. She hasn't seen them yet. So I'm about to do that. I'm not going to record that because you know, I just don't want to record that. I don't want to be putting everybody on. My, you know, everybody not comfortable with the camera, but it's 222, y'all. 221. So, yeah, I'm about to go in here and then I'll come back when we go on to our next destination. Okay, you guys, so I finally left my mom's house. It's about 340. And I, so I was there a little bit over an hour. So now I just made it to Ikea. I'm at Ikea now. They fell asleep at my mom's house, but I know they're gonna need a bottle. So I'm gonna have to take some blankets so I can prop the bottle up while they riding. Because they was like crying and stuff at my mom. Well, they were they fell asleep. And I don't even know if they sleep right now, but I know they're gonna need a bottle soon. So I made a bottle there. So let's get out once again. Okay, y'all. So I speeded up this part because you already saw me set up their stroller and put them in it and everything like that so i didn't want to actually like show how long it took but i did want to include the footage because i wanted you all to get the get you know to for you to really see how much it takes when you have to run errands with twins you got to keep putting the stroller putting it back setting it up putting it back it's just a lot but after this ikea trip y'all i was over it and you can kind of tell in my face that i was just like irritated and just over it all together for real can't go up the escalator so we're waiting on the elevator you look hot and bothered <laughs> Ikea now you see that one with the tear and then the other one just drinking her bottle <laughs> in this next clip you guys if you listen closely you'll hear someone say oh she got two babies and <laughs> I included that because that is just like a fraction of what I deal with when I take the twins out and don't get me wrong I know that people do not mean any harm when they are coming up to me saying something or just saying like oh she got twins and stuff like that because I know it's like it's not rare because you know a lot of people have twins it's just not normal to see it so you know it's just I don't know like I don't want to say that I get frustrated when people do that it just gets overwhelming because for one i am not really a person that likes to i i don't want to say i'm not a people person i'm not an introvert but i'm not an extrovert either like i just too much people interaction can be overwhelming for me so when i go out with the twins and people are constantly coming up to me and things like that it could just get so overwhelming and then people say things like not directed towards me you know like she's saying oh she got two babies she was talking to who she's with you know and it just uh i just be like okay yes i got two babies girl don't keep reminding me <laughs> you guys we're making our last stop for the day i have really slowed down with the vlogging we got wegmas I slow down with the vlogging because it's hard. It's really hard and I'm tired. It's hot. And then it's like twins really draw attention. And I'm just trying to get in and out, in and out, in and out. But yeah, last stop. We go home. For real. Khalil. 
stop crying. I'll see y'all when I get in the house. Okay, you guys, so while I was out, I did pick up my six-year-old also. So you'll see him in some clips. He loves them so much, so he loves being around them. But I went ahead and took Khalil pants off because he was really sweaty. I started to feed him, and then Kaylani started to cry. So I put Khalil in his boppy and was holding Kaylani, was taking her little tutu off, holding the bottle while holding Kaylani. <laughs> so he just finished eating, and now I'm about to sit them down. really likes when I sing that song to him you guys I started putting Coco Melon on for him when I was trying to do stuff around the house I don't know what you know he like about it but he like when I sing it to him so I went ahead and changed Kaylani Pamper and you can see she tearing them fingers up <laughs> and I put her in the little rocker and now I'm changing Khalil Pamper and I'm about to put him in the swing so I can finally start cooking dinner for me and my two older boys. If you did not know, I do have a six-year-old and a 10-year-old. And I am cooking Big Ziti tonight. As you can see, the twins are over there chilling until now. Of course, let's get cool. Come on, let me cook. <laughs> Can I cook, please? Please. Hey, y'all. So, I'm having the most difficult time trying to put this light together. He's been taking a toll on me, but I really had to get in tune with myself. Like, okay so we finally ate dinner it was nine o'clock when i finished everything as far as feeding the boys and i took the twins upstairs to get their clothes off and to give them a bath my six-year-old he loves to help so as you saw i let him carry i think that was khalil he was carrying upstairs but i made sure i was behind him so just in case he might fall anything like i'm there <laughs> This was a new tub that they were in this time, you guys. So I think when they first hit the, their new tub, they was crying because it just was not familiar to them, but they quieted down. Um, they really do like bath time. Bath time is the one time where Khalil does not cry. Like he loves bath time. So I just make sure I wipe his back and everything good. And now I'm washing his hair. Khalil is a sweater. So he really like his back just be sweating and everything like that and even his hair like he'll wake up and it's just his hair be wet he just sweats <laughs> so i'm just making sure that he's nice and clean 
And now I'm just rinsing him off. And I'm going to go to Kaylani. She was having a field day while he was getting washed up. She just was a kicking, 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 kicking. So now I'm just washing her down and doing the exact same thing to her. She's not more so a sweater, but she spits up a lot. So when she, her neck, y'all, her neck be smelling sour. So I make sure to get her neck really good because she likes to spit up and it just go all in her little chunky little rolls. <laughs> But bath time is not as hard as you think. In the beginning, it was really hard for me because it was just like they were so small and so frail that it's just I just was scared. Like it just I just was doing a lot of back and forth, back and forth. So now I'm just lotioning them with the Aveeno that I talked about earlier. really edit a lot a lot out of this part but I did speed it up because if I didn't this clip will be so long but I wanted you all to really get a feel of how it is as far as like bathing twins putting their clothes on putting them to sleep so I finally finished lotioning them down as you can see they both are still crying <laughs> they're both crying so I put Khalil onesie on and I just do one at a time, you guys. Like, I do not try to do them both at the same time. I just do one at a time, one at a time. It makes it easier for me. So now I'm putting her onesie on. And she finally started to settle down. She was really tired, but then she started right back up. A lot of the time they feed off of each other energy. Like if one is not crying and the other is crying, then they'll start crying again. <laughs> but I'm feeding Khalil right now. Kaylani fell asleep. Finally, Khalil was hungry because he really didn't eat earlier when she, well, he did eat earlier. I don't know. She really wasn't eating as much. He don't miss a meal. Okay. <laughs> he made sure he gets all of his feeders. Okay, 
So while I was feeding Khalil, Kehlani started crying. So I had to prop Khalil bottle up and take Kehlani out of her crib and then put her to sleep. I'm touching my hair right here, you guys, because I had a banging headache and I was just over all of the crying for the day. I just was irritated. I was ready to get in the shower, put my night clothes on and just relax. Really, I really was ir irritated. I didn't take it out on them, of course, but I just was ready for this day to be over and for them to just go to sleep. Y'all walk, walk in South Beach, I see. I see everybody crew. I just want to Oh. You guys, look who's in the bed. Kaylani, but don't worry, she going back in her crib. I ain't playing. Uh, -uh. uh Yep, yeah, I ain't playing with you. You going back in there? I don't care. You better get your little cries out now. I'm trying to spend some me time. I'm sitting here watching YouTube. So, go back to bed, baby. So, this night, they actually slept throughout the whole night. They slept until 5.45 a.m. I put them in my bed when they woke up. Um because they were just whiny. So I put them in my bed when they woke up and I just was fixing their bottles. So now I'm about to go ahead and feed them and Kehlani is being so nosy. She is just looking like, what is that? <laughs> but she loves throwing her head back. But look at my boo boo, she looks so cute. <laughs> but I'm about to prop Khalil up and hold Kehlani because I'm only one person and at first I used to like just feed one and then feed the other but I just was like I have to prop a bottle of I just can't like because they be crying so to feed them at the same time I have to prop one of their bottles up if I'm doing something then I have to prop both of their bottles up but I was not doing anything so I went ahead and fed Kehlani while Khalil bottle was propped up And she just, they just are, they're to the point now where they want to start grabbing stuff. So when I put the bottle to their mouth, it's like they move their hands so much. Can you put your head? Why are you being nosy? I'm trying to burp you. <laughs> Come on, boo -boo. Can mommy burp you? You being nosy. Your brother keep moving. You being nosy, boo boo. You done, Papa? You done. You done. Come on, you gonna burp? There you go. Good job. Okay. Khalil, why is your whole shirt wet? Lordy. <laughs> why is your shirt wet, boo boo? What was you doing? <sighs> Lord. Okay, come on. So I can break you. You need your mouth wiped. What? Yes. You just burped a little bit. Khalil. 
Okay, I guess I gotta put you on my chest too, so y'all just being nosy today. So I went ahead and finished feeding them and burping them and now I just have them laying on the bed while I go get some pampers and a change of onesie for Khalil and a washcloth to wipe him down since he did pee on himself last night. Usually, I don't know how it got on the side of his onesie because if you watch here, I press his little wiener down um to make sure that he does not like the pee doesn't go upward because that's what we was having a problem with a lot at first so I make sure I always do that and I'm like how did it get on the side I don't know but I'm just taking his onesie off And now I'm just taking a washcloth to wipe off his chest and his side since he did pee on himself. I want to make sure that it's just, you know, not smelly and not just lingering on him. And now I'm going to put a new onesie on him. Look at him looking so handsome. Looking so His smile gets me every time, you guys. It's so pretty. And now I'm just going to change Kaylani. Her onesie didn't need to be changed, so I'll just change her pamper. And she spit up on me when I tried to put her back to sleep. <laughs> and now they're finally to sleep, you guys. Oh, my God. They finally went back to sleep. I do let them lay on my bed like, during nap time, and I just watch them. But at night, they are going in their crib now. <laughs> but I was finally able to go downstairs and get some coffee that was much needed. Coffee is really one of the favorite parts of my day. Ugh, it just wakes me up, and I'm just like... Yes, I needed that. <laughs> and I do have a camera set up so that I can watch them, especially when they're on my bed, just to make sure that, you know, nothing is in their face. Y'all had a good nap? Boo boo. Hi. What's wrong, Khalil? You slept for a long time, boo boo. Khalil. <laughs> Hi. got them changed I propped their bottles up and I was helping my 10 year old with his virtual learning so this is an, in an instance where I would prop both of their bottles up because I you know I'm doing something else so I was helping him 
and I feel like with having twins, I feel like that it's a little easier for me because my two others are, they're not like babies, you know, but when it comes to times like this, where he needs help with his homework and the twins are needing something else, it can get a little difficult, but it does take time. And now look who's here. Daddy. And from that point on, you guys, my shift was over, honey. Okay. So I hope you got a good idea of what it's like to have twins. I hope you enjoyed this video, you guys. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to show some love down below. And as always, I'll see you all next time. Bye.